What's up guys, it's Prissy215. I'm trying something different today, so bear with me. But as you can see from the title, you guys, don't start something that you cannot finish. And let me break it down to you, right? This means that don't start lending money, don't start lending people money if you cannot finish that, right? Meaning somebody asks you one day, hey, you got $20 I can borrow because I'm, some, I'm such and such, but you're also out here doing what you have to do too. Yes, we are abundant, but we also have to take in consideration that, you know, everything's gonna come in due time to us. So we don't have to just give our stuff away because we all have access to abundance. So just because you're running low don't mean I have to fill your cup up when you ask me because if you keep asking me, then that's gonna take away from me and my cup. So this means, right, if somebody asks you for $20 a day and you give it to them, but the next day asks you for $20 again, and then the following week after that, that all adds up. Like, you feel me? God blesses us with our blessings. Like, if that person doesn't have, then that means that they're not doing something aligned with God for them to have everything that they need. Because we all have everything that we need from within. We are all we are all able to survive and get through this life by leaning and trusting on our, on our God and knowing that our source is going to always provide for us no matter what. And I'm, I'm a living testimony that source will always provide for you as long as you have faith and and believe but you cannot allow people who are not aligned with you to suck your energy and to make your well run dry so don't start something that you cannot finish if another example don't start hanging out with somebody right you hang out with them monday and then they ask you again wednesday hey you want to hang out or they ask you tuesday and then they ask you again wednesday then thursday by Friday, you're feeling drained. And you're like, you know what? I can't do this. Now they're looking at you like, oh, why can't you do this? You've been doing it. You've been hanging out with me. So what's the problem? So don't start something you can't finish. If you know for a fact that, okay, I hung out with you Monday. Now Tuesday, you're asking again. Red flag. You know what? I don't want to hang out with you again today. I already hung out with you yesterday. I'm a high, I am a high valuable person. I am high value. I'm high vibrational. My vibe is very high. I don't have time to be brought down low. Being with you is taken away from my time. I like to be with myself. I like to love myself. Be grateful for the time that I gave you. If you are not grateful, then that is on you. If you are lacking something or missing something within yourself, you cannot come to me to get it from me because I cannot give it to you. You have to be okay with being alone with yourself sometimes. It's okay to have fun and be with your friends and things like that. But when somebody is clingy, that is very unhealthy for a person to be clingy if it is not your spouse or your child you should not be seeing anybody every day like unless that's what you want to do i'm not here to tell you what you should or should not do however me speaking as a high vibrational person that i am i have the time carved out first for myself for my for my higher source for myself for my spouse and for my children that is my only responsibility anything else outside of that is not my concern i, I have nothing to do with that so again don't start something that you cannot finish don't start giving somebody your undivided attention all the time whenever they ask and then when you're feeling like you're ready to blow your top because we all have sometimes we do have a day where it's not so good so if you have a day that's not so good and this person is pulling on your energy and you're just ready to snap off that's not healthy so don't start being overly nice when you can't finish that because we all have a breaking point and there's nothing wrong with that so again don't start something that you cannot finish you guys i hope that you took something from this message i hope that you apply it to your life i hope that you know that you are your own creator you are your own boss of your reality no matter what you've been through if you experienced childhood trauma domestic abuse um just any type of there's any type of oppression that you've had to go through, you now know what you like and what you don't like, and you can move forward from that. You can focus on the things that make you happy. You don't have to focus on the things that make you sad, but you learn from it and you heal yourself. You have to go within, you heal yourself, and you know the things that you like. And don't start something with anybody that you cannot finish because you have to worry about yourself. You can't take everybody with you along your journey. Sometimes you have to walk alone, and that is okay. Not everybody's going to understand you. Not everybody is going to re resonate with you. And that's contrast and that's what we need anyway you might be somebody you might not you might not do something that somebody else likes but they're able now to uh, f figure out what they like like another example is i only like monogamy i'm not into polygamy and if that's what you're into then you can find someone who's into that but i will align with people who are into what i'm into because that's what my vibration is so yeah I like saying different things, but I hope you guys have a blessed night. I hope you guys like my picture. Do you like it? But yeah, have a blessed night, you guys. Deuces.